Hi, I'm Engineer Menon's Aljan Bisnario. Like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, share, and welcome to my channel. Measuring Horizontal Distances First, we need to know what a horizontal distance is. Horizontal distance is the linear distance between two points. If the points are at different elevations, the horizontal distance is the distance between the plumb lines at the points. We have different methods and instruments used for determining horizontal distances some of which are pacing, taping, tachyometry, EDM, and the likes. Pacing is one of the most essential techniques for measuring horizontal distances. It consists of counting steps. A pace is defined as the length of a step while walking. One pace is a single step, and two steps define a stride. Taping is the most common method used in determining or laying out horizontal measurements. Taping uses a calibrated tape between two points. Taping uses tapes and other accessories. Common accessories are range poles, pins, and a plumb bump. Tachyometry is the method that employs optical equipment. Common equipments are automatic level, transit, and theodolite. Under tachyometry, we have the stadia method. This uses an instrument that has a telescope with three horizontal crosshairs and a stadia rod. The three hairs are the upper stadia hair, horizontal crosshair, which is the main crosshair, and the lower stadia hair. In this method, you will get three readings, the upper, middle, and lower readings. The middle reading is used for elevations, while the upper reading and lower reading are used for computing the distances. The distance from the center of the instrument to the study rod is defined by D equals KS plus C, where D is the horizontal distance, K is the study interval factor, S is the stadia interval, which is the difference of the upper reading and the lower reading. C is the offset of the focus to the center of the instrument, or is commonly known as the instrument's constant. K and C are given most of the time, and its common values are 100 and 0 respectively. Let's try and solve this problem. An instrument is set up at A, and sighting a stadia rod held at B. Find the horizontal distance if the upper reading and the lower reading are 1.2 meters and 0.9 meters respectively. K is equal to 100 and C equals 0. First, we get the stadia interval, which is the upper reading minus the lower reading. Then we substitute the values to the formula. We get the horizontal distance equals 30 meters. Another tachyometry method is the subtense bar method. It employs a bar with known length, held horizontal, and the instrument takes the angle subtended by the ends of the bar. Blowing up this triangle, we arrive at this figure. Most references give this formula, where HD is the horizontal distance, S is the length of the bar, and theta is the angle subtended. This is derived using trigonometric functions. If you want to know the derivation, you can leave a comment below. For me, this formula just makes the topic complicated. I don't know about you guys, but I get scared when I see a formula with a cotangent in it. I use the traditional way of solving that uses the basic trigonometric functions 
since this is just an isosceles triangle. Let us try to solve a problem. Find the horizontal distance if the subtended angle of a 2 meter subtense bar is 0 degrees 22 minutes and 20 seconds. So this is the figure. Since this is just an isosceles triangle, we can consider half of the triangle and make it a right triangle. Now, to solve for the horizontal distance, we just use the tangent part of our very well-known Sokatoa. That is, tangent angle equals opposite side over adjacent side. We could get HD equals 307.86 meters. Yes, unlike the formula which is just direct substitution, this process takes a little bit more of time. But I'd rather save my brain space for more complicated formulas than saving seconds in my solving time. And besides, it's a good practice to keep your basics in check. Next, we have the electronic distance measuring equipment. These are instruments that both send and receive electromagnetic signals. The distance is calculated either from the time it takes the transmitted pulse return to the instrument or the phase difference between a transmitted pulse or a reflected beam of radiation. The advantages of EDM include faster and more accurate surveys, and it is easy to operate. A total station is a common instrument used in surveying these days. It is a combination of an electronic theodolite and EDM. It shoots a laser to a reflector or a prism which bounces the laser back to the instrument. It uses the time it took for the laser to come back to solve for the distance between the total station and the prism. Using this instrument saves you a lot of time and effort during the survey as this gives you data directly. Solutions are performed internally so the slope, horizontal, and vertical distances are shown right away. In the next video, I will talk about taping and its corrections. If you have questions, do not hesitate to drop a comment and I will answer them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and click the bell. If you want to request for a content or you want me to answer a problem, drop a comment or email me at menancealjun.yt at gmail.com.